After an entire day of thinking, the only title I could come up with for this video is People Are Selfish. Now, keep in mind, in this video, I'm not trying to be negative or downer. Many of you know that's not what we're about here on this channel. And in fact, on this channel, we tend to make pretty positive content that's optimistic. So keep in mind, I'm not trying to be a negative person in this video. However, the other day I was on the Reddit, I seen a post that kind of inspired me to make this video. I would say about 90% of the posts I read on Reddit and on the forums are mainly people complaining about Fallout 76 without taking really any time to think about Bethesda Game Studios or the people that work there. Now, keep in mind, we're about to read a post together, and I just want to say one thing. In no way, shape, or form are we hating on the person who posted this. In no way, shape, or form are we criticizing them. I just kind of want to point out a few things I think they really overlooked in their post. Now, a link can be found in the description of this post if you want to read it for yourself, but it says this. Still Dawn Part 3, Still Rain, not coming with Season 4. Scheduled for late July right now. As per the new community calendar, which puts it in July, and most major 76 updates come the last week of the month, so they took this DLC, delayed it by months, split it in two, then delayed the second part for another half a year. So it took them 1.5 years to make this tiny, no end game boss DLC. Geez, looks like it will debut with season 5 or very end of season 4, which may just end up being another long season dragging on for months. Edit. And friendly reminder that hundreds, if not thousands of people pay this game a monthly subscription fee too. Now, I understand why this person is upset. A lot of us are waiting for the next major DLC for Fallout 76, and it's coming out in July. But a few things I think this person overlooked are this. 1. Bethesda Game Studios did delay the Still Dawn DLCs, but if you know the reason why, you begin to really understand where they're coming from. From what I remember, Bethesda Game Studios said they delayed both Wastelanders and Steel Dawn because the content just wasn't ready yet. And odds are, if that content just wasn't ready yet, it probably had a lot of issues. And to be honest, I would rather Bethesda Game Studios delay content than release something that's, well, broken. We all remember what happened with the release of Fallout 76 when it didn't release in the greatest state. And if the DLCs released the same way, I don't think it would go very well for Fallout 76. Something else that this person talked about in their post was how it took them 1.5 years to make the DLC. And this person may be right, but we have to understand that this content was made in the 2020 year, a year with an outbreak which pretty much slowed up everything. It pretty much affected every industry, and 2020 was a bad year for a lot of people. But Bethesda Game Studios, even through all that, continued to put out content, which I am very thankful for. They could have put it on hold, but at least they continued to give us something through one of the worst years that I have, and I know many others, have experienced in their lifetime. Something else I think this person is overlooking is that the people at Bethesda Game Studios Austin had to deal with a winter storm, which probably affected a lot of things. The winter storm in Texas was the coldest one they have experienced in a few hundred years, I believe. It destroyed homes, displaced residents, and I believe even the pipes burst in the Bethesda Game Studios Austin building. And there's really no telling how many people were affected by that winter storm who actually work at Bethesda Game Studios. So that definitely could have affected things as well. Something else that I think this person is overlooking is that it seems each season is better than the last. What I mean by this is that season 4 for Fallout 76, which is Armor Ace and the Power Patrol, or Cold Steel if you will, looks far more interesting and unique than the previous seasons. And it seems there's a pattern going on here. Each season is improving in my opinion. I think season 4 looks better than season 3, I think season 3 was better than season 2, and I think season 2 was better than season 1. And in the future, when season 5 is released, I think it'll be better than season 4. 
not only are the seasons better in my opinion, but the overall year is better in my opinion. I think the 2021 roadmap looked better than the 2020 roadmap. And I think the 2020 roadmap looked better than the 2019 roadmap. And I'm pretty sure the 2022 roadmap, whenever that comes out, is going to look better than the 2021 one. I think the game is headed in the right direction. And I think each and every single update is better than the last when it comes to things like seasons and roadmaps. I think this game is definitely headed in the right direction. And I can't wait to see what it has in store for us. I think when people complain about Fallout 76, they really don't look at the bigger picture. They don't look at what's happened with the game before, they're just looking at what's happening with the game now. They see something they don't like and immediately are upset, but they really don't take time to think about anything else but themselves. I think sometimes people need to just stand back and look at the bigger picture and things overall. Like I said, this video wasn't to be negative. It wasn't to be mean. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy it for what it was. If you did, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below as per usual. Until next time, peace out and have a good one.